Camera action. All right, we are here, man. Uh, Slacker Radio, San Diego, California, uh, back on the scene. Your man, Radio Raymond T. Uh, thank you for stopping through the bunker. Hey. Got another beautiful young talent right here, uh, Miss Kaylin Morrell. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I got it correct? Yes. All right, yes, we're definitely Miss Kaylin Morrell. Um, and the Instagram is at I am Kaylin Oh, you're going to go right to it. Yeah, we're going to go right to it. Go right to plug it away. I'm going right to time. I'm gonna give you your time to plug your shine. You I, I'll put it in the beginning and I'll put it in the end. Okay, I see. Oh, well, then take it away. Have it. <laughs> I am Caitlin Morrell, correct? Yes, yes. All right, all right. Um, a bit of a world traveler, right? Because I was trying to get, trying to understand. Yeah. One from the song, I was talking, I was talking to you, dude Ace, and I was like, "Yo, where's she from with all this West Side chicks?" You know what I mean? Cause... Yeah, originally from the East Coast. I'm from Massachusetts. Okay. Small town, Western Mass. Love okay. Massachusetts. I just had another artist in with me from Central Mass, as a matter of fact. Okay. So, so uh, uh, check him out. Suge is his name. You know okay. what I mean? But yeah. He was just here on a West Coast promo. I, I, I'm tripping right now because I'm getting. Uh, I just linked it up with another artist out of Boston. Okay. So I'm trying yeah, to figure out what's the what's there. the wave going on right now with Massachusetts. Yeah, you know what I'm Massachusetts, saying? Boston is is getting bigger. It's yeah. definitely getting bigger, spreading to New Haven, New York, definitely for sure. Rappers and singers alike. Uh. Young crowd growing up too. So Okay. I mean you always Very got legendary new edition as well. That oh, that's yeah. why it will always be one of my favorites. Yeah. You know it's it's a close jump to New York too, so it's very easy just to jump and then go over there and be in Brooklyn and Manhattan. I mean, they kind of speak for themselves. Okay, so does that is that kind of explain some of the influx of like the music? Or, um, yeah, or, or I mean, why I've, now? I I've traveled say. a lot. Okay, with me personally with my music, I've traveled to Miami, Knoxville, Las Vegas, stuff like that. I keep on the move pretty much, but I'm originally born and raised from Ludlow, and then I do a lot of my music in either Boston or New York. Um, I lived a couple years ago. I had stayed out here, so okay. I knew. I was familiar with it enough to be like, I want to come back. Yeah. And I was like, I need a big move. And I was like, if I'm just going to move and start everything over and start my whole EP, I want to start it fresh and start it where I'm comfortable and I'm just me and I don't have to worry about, like, my hometown is very small. Okay. So there's not a lot of people. There's not a lot of opportunity there. So I already knew I had to branch out from there. Yeah, a good friend, friend of mine does radio um, who's actually out here. Nobody said from Boston. You say, you don't make it in Boston, you make it out. Yeah, you know basically. What I mean? So, so definitely, that's, that's the scene mm -hmm. right there. Yep. Um, so where are you actually working on what you're doing now? Because I know there's um, ties to Vegas and everything. Yeah, too, right? I, I moved fully out to Vegas. I'm okay. working at Different Empire. That's the whole record label. We're okay. over there. Tyler Gasson is the main producer over there. Where? Ace. We got Good Vibe working with us. We got a whole team of writers, singers, rappers, everybody over there. So... It's really good to be part of a group that's got the same vision and saying, like, we really need to make something of what we're doing. What? And what's that vision right now for, for Miss Kaylee Morrell? Um, you know with what I mean? me, I think it's just my first EP. So okay. it's my first, like, chance to really express myself as an artist and to really get my face out there where it's not like I'm attached to just somebody who doesn't really push me. You know okay. I mean, the team is very good at pushing each other. The writers that we have, we work well with each other. We know like what our strengths are, what our weaknesses are, and we're very good at pushing forward. So, I think we got a good team. I think we got a good momentum, and I'm excited. So super dope, and I'm excited to have you here, man. Like I said, the song right now is whatever. Uh, very cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 gonna say it now. It feels like it's gonna be a woman's anthem. Yeah, you that's know, that's you, the goal. You know, no doubt. You know what I mean? You're gonna have the ladies on it, like whatever. You know, so. Um, just, just talk about a little bit in, in the song because, again, I, I know we uh, figuring out the ways on the business side on, on what you're going to do with things right now. You know what I mean? I know right. you might have a new label situation and yeah. blase, blase, you know what I mean? But um, talk about how the song came about for you. You know what I mean? And, um, well, actually, we had it was actually probably, I want to say, the third or fourth song that we had started working on from the EP. But the idea was because I had moved over to the West Coast, we wanted to try to use some of the dialogue and some of the inspiration from being in the West Coast. So a lot of the lingo in it, it's just me being like, if I was a West Coast chick, yeah. I'm from here. And it's like, yeah, I'm still from the East Coast, but I'm comfortable over here. I got family over here. I'm making music. I'm doing my thing over here. So I definitely think it's working well. Women seem to respond to it very well. Men actually respond to it even more so. Um, and there's a lot of references to Too Short, you know, being in there. So everyone's like, oh, that's my song. And yeah. they start jamming out. So. It's a good feeling. It's my first single, so I'm excited. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I was sure. I had to listen to it a couple of times. Matter of fact, I hit your man, and I was like, well, yo, where's your girl from? Talking about she a West Side chick. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I'm a Cali boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I hear that, I want to know where she's at. You know what I mean? But 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 that's very cool. You know this what I'm saying? This is actually my first trip to Cali, too. Is that right? Yeah. Nice. Nice. You enjoying yourself so far? I love it out here. Yeah, yeah. It's a little cold, but 
Surprisingly, so, surprisingly, because yeah. we spoiled right here. Like I said, <laughs> I, I'm 24 7 in shorts. I'm you know from what I mean? New England, so, so it, it's always up and down. So yeah. You got to prepare in layers. <laughs> well, I was just talking to your man that I was telling you about from Central Mass, and he said that's why they tour yep. uh, wintertime. So oh, they're yep. like, because we come to Cali, do all the mm-hmm. tour, because we don't want to deal with no snow. I mean, you got yeah. real as winter. As, as soon as I left, I actually left in December. So I have um, a little bit left to work on the EP, but I've been here for about four or five months now. So there, I missed the winter. This yeah, year. yeah. So it was the first winter I've missed since I was a kid, and I was like, "There's no snow. This is weird. Word, <laughs> it's word. new, but I like it. It's warm." So. Cool. So give me the tale of Caitlin, man. Like, like here you are now. I mean, what's led up to this point right now for you? I mean, has music always been a thing since you were a kid, or yeah, what's I, happening? I've been singing since I was four years old. Wonderful. I come running out with my fake. Classic. And you have a very beautiful voice, by the way. Just, Thank just you. so you know, it's very cool. Like, I, I mean, I, will we get to some kind of ballads or anything like that too? Maybe. Oh or? yeah, yeah. Okay. We definitely got a couple of ballads in there. We got female anthems in there. We got a little bit of old school feel mixed into the new era. So everybody's gonna be happy with the EP for sure. Twenty eighteen for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, cool, definitely. cool. Uh, how many artists on this whole different empire thing? Um, in total, we have three girls and I believe four or five guys that are a mix between rapping and singing. And okay. then we have two writers and. Mainly Tyler Gaston is our main producer, but w- he works well with a lot of other producers that come in and collab with him. So. Cool. And get everybody, all the ladies get along? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. you know how that could be sometimes. No, that's, you know that's, your ladies be okay sometimes, no, you know what no. I'm saying? But just, just no, make it sure. Actually, we have uh, Liv Berry is like, she's 20, so she's like younger sis. And then we have uh, Miracle Reigns, who's... 15 she's even younger but we're all close-knit we come in and be like okay so we do the ad lib do up this way and we can mimic each other it's a little easier when it's a girl so it's dope, like, dope. just and he talks of a group in there or is everybody doing their own little uh, solo no game? i think everybody's doing their own thing right now because okay. we're all just in such different vibes of what we want to say with our ep so yeah, yeah. i think definitely we're gonna have collabs coming soon but for now individual projects all right, cool. Well, definitely this one right here, you definitely got a little club banger feel to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, you know, peeping the gram and whatnot, look like the DJ's giving you some love and yeah. y'all kind of growing this thing organically, which is pretty cool. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's got and some legs with it. It's no, it does. Really good, so. It does. It does. You know what I'm saying? And that's saying a lot from a girl coming from Massachusetts out here and they messing with it on the West, man. So very, yeah. very cool, very exciting for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm so excited. You know, so uh, <laughs> let me ask you so, so well, here we are in the studio. If there was an artist to walk in right now that you could actually have a dream collabo with, man, who would it be? Ironically, I think it would be Kendrick. I feel like a lot hey. of people say that, but I think it's just Mr. Polar Surprise Winnie Kendrick. You know, yeah. What I'm saying? I mean, I think just between wordplay and then just flow alone, like I've just always been a Kendrick fan. So yeah, I've been a Kendrick fan since Mad City. I had the whole album on repeat in my car. Uh-huh. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, shoot. It looks like the West is grabbing you then. Yeah, yeah. You know, say uh, sorry, Central Mass. Don't look like you're getting your girl back. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna come back for a visit. My mom would be so mad if I didn't come yeah, back. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Very cool, man. Well, listen, uh, I-, I wish you nothing but the best, man, with this whole track and everything like that. Uh, definitely a great one to open up with. You know, what I'm saying it's whatever uh, out there. You know, what I'm saying uh, DJs get that in your Serato, your tractor, whatever the case may be. Bang that at the club one time. And uh, Caitlin, please go ahead and let them know now where they can find you with your yeah, sites and your, and your tags Instagram and all that. My Instagram is uh, I am Caitlin Morell and Different Empire Music, Different Underscore Empire. Different Underscore Empire. But, but I'm looking at your shirt. Yes. It's not with the Fs. No, it's with a PH. Always uh-huh. with a PH. We got to be a little bit different. All right. So we have to we have the PHAT. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. Miss Caitlin Morell, thank you, my love. Appreciate you, man. And uh, best of luck you. with thank all this, so whatever, much. man. You know what I'm saying? We're looking forward to the EP. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. <laughs>